be surprised to see a fair number of runs here with number three in the backfield. I don't know, though. You just missed a field goal. Under center, McGee. Well, no, I'm just thinking that you're going to get a little bit at a time. Working right down to the 20-yard line. Because you, you can get first downs, and as long as Limestone can't stop the run. I mean, they've at times have done it, but have not been consistently in stopping the run. 141 rush yards prior to that rush for LR, 29 attempts. See, so they load up the Oh, I've got 190 yards after so that play. White. McGee Bounces breaks off. a tackle and drops about a yard shy of the first Yeah, it's going to be first third down. and two. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is. It's got nothing to do with it, but your your computer is doing a much better job of resetting and keeping up with the live stats than mine is. Yeah, I'm showing 190 yards rushing for them compared to 253 for the Saints. Third down and a healthy two for the Bears. Limestone 17. McGee has the first down. Chandler and Matthews knocks him down at the six. No, at the 11. Or at the 11. So they can actually get another first down without scoring, but if you're that close, they're gonna go in. Well, and it, at some point here, you may decide to do this attempt on a third down. Oh, as far as a field goal. Right. Yeah, it, it just depends on how much you're gaining. How close are you? I mean, right now they're just about in the middle of the field. They've got a different running back, I believe, don't they? Play clock down to nine. It's number two. Handoff inside to Zaire Dillard, his first carry of the game. And he gets down to about the seven yard line. Well, according to my live stats, this is fourth. So I. Yeah, yours is. <laughs> so wouldn't be at all surprised here to see LR set this one up for the place kicker and take that snap on third down for the field goal. Because if something happens on that snap, bad snap or whatnot, you still have fourth down to attempt it. Handoff inside, and that's what they're doing, just setting it up. See whether or not Jake Brown, the place kicker, comes in. And not yet. Not unless they're going to call a timeout. And the offense stays on. It does. Yeah, they're bringing in number three, McGee. And that play clock just it's down to 20. Well, if you're Limestone's defense right now, you're just hoping and praying for a turnover. But McGee, the reigning offensive player of the week in the sack, gets the handoff going up the middle, oh. breaks it one tackle, two tackles, pushing toward the goal line, and may have the first down at that. Uh, I think he's going to be shy by a yard, or it's going to be very close. Yeah, it's fourth down, and it looks like half a yard. So now, now you bring oh. in the kicking team, and it's basically slightly closer than an extra point. Which is a good thing, and it could be a bad thing. So now the freshman, Jake Brown, trying to get this through to keep his team unbeaten. Snap the placement, the kick is up. And good. And good. The Bears in overtime. Victorious 31 to 28. What a game. What a game. And, and Lenore Ryan did that with four less first downs. 